Hello, this is Giselle Rodriguez, one of the husbandry and education assistants here at Belize Wildlife and Referral Clinic, or BWRC. Since the opening of BWRC in 2012, we have received per approximately 500 wildlife patients here at the clinic. Due to these patients, most of them have been involved in human-wildlife conflict. So today I want to talk to, to you about this problem. Human wildlife conflict, what causes it and simple things you can do in order to help. What is human wildlife conflict? A human wildlife conflict arises when there is a competition between humans and wild animals for resources. In biology, a resource is defined as an object or substance required for growth and the maintenance of life, such as food, water or shelter. However, what a wild animal sees as a resource could be completely different to what a person sees. So why do these conflicts seem more common now than in the past? Human populations all around the world are rapidly growing and expanding. As human populations grow and expand, they expand into wild lands that were previously undisturbed natural habitats. Fortunately, Belize has a large percentage of land under protection and so is one of a few countries that still has a healthy population of different wild animal species. This is good for Belizeans and good for Belize's wildlife. Problem animals and how to avoid them. Sometimes when we see a wild animal we think it's so cute or maybe we want to eat it. Sometimes we harbor beliefs about animals being dangerous, good or bad. Sometimes people attempt to feed wild animals or coax them with food to see them up close and interact with them. What we are actually doing with this is habituating these wild animals so that they will eventually lose their natural fear of humans. At this very moment, we are looking at our most recent patient we received here at Blaze Wildlife and Referral Clinic. Uh, he is a green iguana. The story behind him is that he has been brought in from all the way from Belize City into this clinic. The reason being for him being a patient here at the clinic is that two children were found in possession of him. One of the kids were holding him by the tail, while the other had uh, picked up the rock and had then or hit the iguana with a rock on his head. Um, due to this, he had received a head injury. Back of his head, he does have these two swellings. That's the reason why he's immobile at this moment. If he is fortunate enough to survive from this, he will then be, or the plans for him is to then be released back into the wild and to carry on his daily life. Um, just one message out there for parents as well as uh, teachers to do uh, encourage the kids not to tamper around with any wildlife. Educate yourself and others more about animals around you and how us humans can peacefully and safely share and enjoy the environment we all call home. As a growing community of wildlife conservationists, it is our duty to help each other in helping wildlife. Remember, all wildlife in Belize is protected by law and shouldn't be molested, harassed, captured or killed. We want to preserve our wildlife for future generations and for the economic benefit of our country. If you have any conflicts with wildlife, feel free to contact the Forest Department or BWRC.